mpox formerly known as monkeypox is once again a pressing concern you know making headlines around the world what exactly is it and why should you care this is not just another health issue it's an urgent matter that requires your attention so stay tuned for everything you need to know about this emerging health threat today we're diving into the recent mpox outbreak particularly its impact in africa we will cover its origins the current situation and what you need to know to stay safe mpox is an autopox virus similar to smallpox it was first discovered in 1958 in a colony of monkeys kept for research in Denmark, which is why it has the name monkeypox. It is a zoonosis, which means that it can be transmitted from animals to humans. It can also spread from human to human, with the first human case recorded in 1970 in a nine-month-old boy in the Democratic Republic of Congo. So although it's been sporadic, it has primarily affected Central Africa, East and West Africa, which was after the eradication of smallpox in 1980, and likely due to the end of smallpox vaccination worldwide due to like waning immunity. There are two distinct strains. You have clade one formerly called the Central African clade and clade two called the West African clade. Clade one is currently considered more severe than clade two with a higher fatality rate and more severe symptoms. So in the US, we had an outbreak in 2003 caused by imported wild animals. In 2022, a global outbreak of the clade two strain spread to nearly 100 countries causing over 87,000 cases and over 100 deaths. This outbreak mainly affected primarily but not only gay and bisexual men, men who had sex with other men, and this also spread through sexual networks. At the time, the WHO declared it a global health emergency, which was eventually lifted in 2023. So fast forward to 2024 and we're facing a new, more deadly strain of mpox. This outbreak has been declared a global health emergency with lots of cases and deaths reported primarily in the DRC or Democratic Republic of Congo. This outbreak is primarily concentrated in DRC with some cases reported in some surrounding African countries and a few cases now more internationally. As of August 2024, there have been over 17,000 reported cases and more than 500 deaths. This fatality rate of the actual strain that is prevalent now is notably higher, around 3-4% to compared to less than 1% during the 2003-2002 outbreak. The WHO has declared this outbreak a public health emergency of international concern. And this highlights the need for a coordinated global response to help control the spread and provide the necessary resources. So, how does MPOX spread? MPOX spreads through close contact, including skin-to-skin -skin contact if you have the lesions present. You could even have it on internal mucosal surfaces like the mouth, the throat, you know, coming into contact with bodily fluids, respiratory droplets, sexual contact, and even contaminated surfaces. The current clade 1 strain appears to be more easily transmitted and deadlier, which is why it's a more significant concern. It is important that we understand these ways that it's transmitted to help protect yourself and others. So, what are some of the symptoms of MPOX? Symptoms of MPOX tend to begin about 5 to 21 days after exposure and could include fever, headaches, muscle aches, back pain, respiratory symptoms, and and swollen lymph nodes usually in the neck, armpit or groin. Within one to five days of those symptoms, a distinctive rash appears that can appear on the genitals, the face, the hands, and other parts of the body. You know, this rash changes and goes through different stages, eventually forming scabs that can fall off. And the rash could be painful, itchy, and last up to two to four weeks. Identifying mpox can be tricky, since it can look similar to other infections or skin conditions. So testing is essential if this is suspected. We can detect it through you know, the viral DNA by PCR tests, which is the preferred method to test for mpox. Samples are taken from the sites of the rash through swabs, and if no lesions are present, we can get like mouth, anal, or rectal swabs, and samples are sent to the lab for analysis, and might take a few days, and then the results come back. And while there's no specific treatment for mpox, supportive care can help manage symptoms. The goal is to take care of the rash, manage the pain, and prevent complications. People do recover from this. It's best to start treating early you know antiviral medications and vaccines used for smallpox in some cases might have been effective but they are still being investigated there are some other medication that can be used that are approved 
when it comes to mpox prevention is critical you know avoid close contact with infected individuals you know practice good hygiene and consider vaccination if you're high risk also getting the mpox vaccine can help prevent infection if you're exposed this vaccine should be given within four days of contact with someone who has mpox or within up to 14 days without symptoms you know public health measures and awareness are very important if we have to control or could help us control the spread of this condition so if you found this video helpful please give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and family let's spread awareness not the virus your active participation can help make a difference in this global health crisis mpox is a severe health threat but we can protect ourselves and our communities with the proper knowledge and precautions so remember staying informed is not just the first step it's the key to staying safe and in control of the situation remember to subscribe to our channel for more health updates and tips hit the notification bell so you never miss an update and together we can make a difference